Hello there, this is Lynn Allen. Welcome to another AutoCAD tip courtesy of Catalyst Magazine. Hope you're having a great week so far. I'm here in Las Vegas, looking forward to another great Autodesk University, and I hope to see some of you here. So recently, I've been asked a couple times about migrating custom settings after the fact. What's a custom setting? What could be a profile? Uh, all those great settings that you have selected inside of options. It could be your PGP file, could be your CUI, could be a variety of things. And when you install AutoCAD, you are given the opportunity to migrate those custom settings forward. And you may have said to yourself, oh, I'll worry about that later. All right, I am here to help you worry about that later. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you how to do that after the fact. <laughs> when you installed AutoCAD 2016 or before, you probably, well, I'm positive you saw a dialog box that looked just like this, right? If you are on AutoCAD 2017, when you installed that, you saw, let's face it, a much prettier looking dialog box that looks like this. This one's easier on the eyes, a little more user friendly, but it does the exact same thing for the most part as the one that you saw inside of previous releases. All right, so what if you want to maybe migrate more custom settings, or if you want to migrate all the ones you didn't do it at all to begin with, how do you get there? No problem. Let me bounce out of AutoCAD and let me come over here. And I'm gonna go to all programs. So I went to start, I'm gonna go to all programs and there you will find Autodesk, right? And then we're gonna go to AutoCAD 2017 and here you will see migrate custom settings. All right, and there's a variety of things I can do in here. I'm gonna talk about a couple of these next time I'm with you, but you wanna focus on migrate from a previous release. All right, so I'm gonna tell you that if you have AutoCAD open and you click on that, it's gonna call your names and not let you do anything. So make sure that you have AutoCAD closed first, okay? So let's go back over to the PowerPoint. Let's talk in a little bit more detail about migrating your custom settings. So first of all, it's gonna ask you what release you wanna move forward because it needs to know what directories to go search in. And once, and as I mentioned to you before, you can migrate your user profiles. This is what you've set up inside of options. Anything that has to do with the CUI, like uh, your ribbon or your toolbars and things like that customized commands you might have in there. Tool palettes, uh, I'm a big fan of tool palettes. I will tell you that if you are, are migrating previous to 2010, it's gonna have a little extra work. <laughs> but if you're in 2010 forward, it should go pretty smoothly. And command aliases, that's your PGP file. Maybe that's your shortened commands, right? L for line, C for circle. Maybe you added in some of your own want to make sure you move those forward, right? Plot files, template files. I probably don't need to go through all of these. You guys can read, um, but just know that if you customize any of these, you want to make sure that you move them forward so that you feel nice and comfortable inside of your AutoCAD. You don't want to have to do them again. I don't want you to have to do them again. All right, so you've migrated some of your custom settings forward, either at the time or after the fact, and you don't like what happened you wanna go back to the way it was before. Let me show you how to do that, just in case things go badly. Let me jump that out of my PowerPoint. I'm gonna to go to Start. I'm gonna to go to All Programs. Once again, uh, this is gonna be slightly different depending on what version of Windows you're dealing with. Let's go to Autodesk. Go to the AutoCAD that you are working on. And here you will see this cool option, Reset Settings to Default. Oh yeah, well that could save the day for you. <laughs> so if for some reason it goes badly, no worries, you can put it back to the way it was before. That's the way it is with most things inside of AutoCAD. It's not forever. It doesn't have to be forever. <laughs> so uh, I encourage you to migrate any custom settings that you've created. And I'm gonna go into this in a little bit more detail in a couple of weeks, but until then, I hope you have a great week at work, and I want to see you back here in two more weeks. Thank you for joining me.